honestly telling me you cannot embark on a fight with him because he was your PA? Where are you scared of? I am not scared of Jigube. Then act like one who is not scared. I've said this thing to you times without number. I would act when the time is right. Oh, Vera, that is all you ever say. I will act when the time is right. I will act when the time is right. Obira, when will the time ever be right for you to act? Is it until Chekube puts his hand into your eyes then you know it is time for you to act? Obira, listen to me. Your offsprings will be disappointed to know that you are the first king to be dethroned. Now is the right time to act. Your offsprings will be disappointed to know that you are the first king to be dethroned. I'm older people. We have suffered. Just Chekube of yesterday that don't even know anything about kingship is now dragging kingship with our grand king. Eh? Seriously, that boy is not scared at all. No. Someone who was just the PA here. Hmm. Do you know the worst part of it? I don't know why our king is keeping quiet. To confront him, for him to stop all this is madness. Maybe both of them have personal things that they want us to know. Uh, seriously, I am thinking the same way you are. But even at that, King Obiora needs to act. Because nobody made Jacobe the king. He is not even a crown prince. Not to talk about him. Having the royal blood flowing in his veins, it's not possible. It's here. See, if I have the power, I will say, let us go and confront that boy. Eh? For him to stop this is madness. That, that is negative thinking cannot come to pass. He can never actualize it. Eh? Eh, 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 eh. See, see. Let him know that he can never be our king. Awake, he will. Ezai. This is ridiculous. Seriously, that boy needs to be cautioned. Ezoku. He needs to be cautioned. That boy needs to be cautioned. I can imagine that. Eh? Hey, I love. I have something to tell you. And it's very important. And go on. Um, baby, drop the phone. This is very important. Oh, I'm sorry. Still, I'm trying to reply to a message. But it's okay, just, just go on. Okay, fine. Um, I need you to do something so that you can have the support of the people. What is it? You need to do this so that in case tomorrow Obiora stands up to fight you, the people can stand with you. They can support you. Something like, like what? You have to buy bags of rice, beans, detergent, soap, and share it to the villagers. Trust me, with this, you will have their support. They will never forget this in a hurry. They won't.
that was that was great <laughs> man that is a strategic plan with this surely we will have the villagers to our side we will have them singing praises to king chikube <laughs> Do you know? Buying all of this you just mentioned will cost money. And you know we don't have enough. We don't have what it takes to make it happen. My love, have you forgotten who my brother is? My brother is not in Nigeria. He is outside the country and he has money. So don't worry about it. He will support us. Well, I'm not disputing the fact that he will support us, but I'm only consigned on the last help he rendered. Remember he gave us a huge sum of money? He gave us the last time. I doubt if he would want to help us this time. <laughs> See, <laughs> let me tell you something you don't know. My brother loves royalty. Whenever he comes to Nigeria, he likes to associate with royalties. So if my brother used his two left ear to hear that his sister and his brother-in-law are about to enter into royalty, my brother will support us with everything he has. Don't worry, I will talk to him. He will bring money. <laughs> Honey, forget it. Eh? Forget it. I told you I will talk to my brother. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be just money. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, brother, hey, this is kinship we're talking about. Oh. It needs enough money to run it. Eh? See, let me tell you, brother, if we don't do like this, our opponent will take over the throne oh, and it's not possible. You know, we, we, we've already gone far. Brother, please understand me. Hey, understand where I'm going to. Oh, brother, see, let me tell you, at the end of the day, this thing will benefit me and you. You know. You know you already love royalty. We've already gone far, brother. It's nothing. Hey, please, I understand. We will manage. We are managing. We are managing. Brother, brother, oh, that is my own brother, brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Igwe. Igwe. We heard that you are sharing rice, so we came to collect our own. Yes, yeah, so Igwe, we went to the farms to work. And when we came back, we saw the women jubilating with their rice and uh, all the things that you shared. So we decided we should come oh, that our king is very good and we'll make sure we don't go empty handed. Of course, being good to my people is my biggest priority. No one is excluded in my benevolence. Get them, they are on share. 
You should come back next week for granite oil and of course red oil. Thank you, Igwe. Igwe. You will live long for us. Your reign will be filled with happiness. Thank you. This is unbelievable. Okay. Since I married into this village, no king has ever cared for our welfare before. Like this. Hmm. Rather, they will impose unnecessary law that is not relevant. I knew you. Huh. Particularly King Obiora. That one, he has never, since he became king, never. My sister, they say charity begins at home. Yes. You can think about his father first because that one is the worst king ever. Very stingy. <laughs> hey! I'm glad this rice and full stop will last me two weeks. Eh, hey, no. Hey, to last me two weeks. I am happy when I heard King Chikube said that the women should come and pick rice and food stuff. My sister. Hey! Were you the only one? I was happy too. Hey! Very, very happy. Sweetheart, tell me honestly, how do I look? Oh. All right, I'm set. Shall we? I'm talking to you. I'm not going. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I changed my mind. What do you mean you changed your mind? This is a royal event. Every king is expected to come with their queens. What do you mean by you changed your mind? And this queen is going nowhere. Why? No, you tell me. I said, why? Since you decided not to act like a king towards Chekube, you can as well attend your event alone. Rebecca, can you listen to yourself? Chekube. Chekube is the reason you won't go with me to this royal event. Really? Stop this madness. Stop this stupidity. Bro, you call this stupidity. No, Obira, you expect me to sit here and watch Chekube take over this kingdom and we become commoners. Chekube can never, ever will take this kingdom from me. It's not possible. How many times will I make you understand that? It is happening already. Yesterday, he was sharing foodstuffs to the villagers. And you know what? They were praising him. King Chekube. The fact that he shared few bags of rice to some indigents, some hungry indigents, that is why you feel that Chikube would take the throne from me. Can you comprehend what you just said? Is it possible? Laura, you don't understand. There are some things you don't understand about life. You talk as if you don't know that people love where they get free stuff, where they get free money, free food, where they get free things. Enough! Not Jacobi, not this nonsense coming out from your mouth. Stand up, get ready. We are going for that royal event.
Chair, good afternoon, sir. Ruben, hi. How are you? <laughs> you are just coming back, eh? Oh, yes. I just entered Nigeria. I said, let me come to my community and see my That's people. Right. That's very good. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> you are looking good. <laughs> hi. Okay. Yeah. All right. You are looking good. All right. Sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, that's good. Uh, that's the bam, the bam. Hey, he's back. That is the bam. He's back. Hey, King Chekubem will be glad to hear this. Hey, I will not hesitate to go and tell him. So, the baby is back. Yes, my king. Mm. I would like to see him. It's not a problem at all, my king. Uh, you can send the guards to call him. And I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that you are now the king of our Of course, of course. I know he will be very happy. I've gotten messages from those our sons living abroad. You know, they've sent messages to congratulate me on uh, being the new king. Of our community. Uh, yeah, community. Uh, <laughs> so tell him I would like to see him. It's okay. Yeah, I'd like to see him. Yes. Dubim! My king. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's good to see you. How have you been? We bless God. We bless God. Um, my king. So tell me, how did all these things happen? <laughs> Of course, I know you'll be very surprised when you see this. Um, the thing is, uh, change, they say, is always constant. You're right, my king. I have decided that um, the community will no longer rule over us. But it's not done. I mean, we have illustrious sons, educated men, able-bodied men in this community. Right. So why would they continue to rule over us? I woke up one morning and I said, no. It would never happen again. So I moved that motion of putting an end to that. That is what you're seeing now. <laughs> so the people of Amudo and the king tried to suppress us? Of course they tried, but that is in the past now because currently we are leading. We have what it takes, we have the capacity to rule over Amudo village and other villages as well. <laughs> You're right, my king. I agree with you. My king, my king! Uh, well, enough of um, our village and our, our achievements. Let's talk about you. How is your people? How is the family? <clears throat> um, um, everything is going well. You know, I left uh, Japan a few weeks ago. I said, let me just come down to the village and see my people. Uh -huh. So, unfortunately, when I came, I heard about the good news. I said, no, I have to go and see my king. Uh -huh. I have a few hotels and building and uh, some other things. Very good. That is what you want to hear. I just want to bring down the development of our village and help the younger people. My son, you have done so well for yourself. Thank you so much. And we are very, very proud of you. Thank you so much, man. As a matter of fact, we are solidly behind you. <laughs> yeah? Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Um, you're welcome, my elders. Thank you. Thank you. You people said you have an important matter to discuss with me. Uh, yes, yes. That's yes, why we're here. Uh, we came to give you a good news from the king, Jacobem. Good news. Which is? The king says that he wants to give you a chieftaincy title from another one of Japan because of what you've been doing in this community. <laughs> My elders, are you serious? Uh -uh. <laughs> that is why we have come to get a response from you. <sighs> yes, I'm in. I will accept it. It's a great honor to be given a chief Tezi title in my community. I go away. Ufu ya na simu na bela. Hey! Now I'm drinking na ma o. We shall be well yeah. with you. You shall live long enough to reap the fruits of your labor. Yes. 
I'm very, very happy. You see, it's not as if uh, we do. Uh, we know that you are one of the richest young men in this community. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we have so many things you are doing. Eh? The new place you are building out there. Eh? Even the hotel you are building close to our market. We see these things. And these are development projects oh. on their own. The community needs these things to progress, to develop. Yeah. Eh? So we recognize you. Hmm? You shall have the chieftaincy title. And probably more honors shall follow eh, much later. <laughs> continue what you are doing. Yeah, hmm? yeah. The good things you are doing, continue, don't stop. Eh? Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, I know that the king will be very, very happy to hear that you have accepted this offer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm very, very much happy for this good news. And I can't wait to be given a title in my community. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. you are indeed the true son of your father. Ah. <laughs> As our hard-working son, who has done so much for our community. He has carried our community's responsibilities with love and respect. Today, we have decided to recognize you. Hmm? <laughs> Igwe. I need to Igwe. I need to do that. I I to Bless it to be Today, I crown you Omelora One in Japan. Igwe Omelora One in Japan. My king. I can't believe your attitude towards this matter at all. Can you believe that Chekube gave his chieftaincy title to one of his village men that just came back from abroad two days ago? And it is everywhere in the community. My king, we elders are tired. We can no longer keep quiet. Something has to be done before this boy takes over this kingdom. Exactly. Yes, my king. You need to do something. Before things get worse. Please. Chekube is only but a confused little boy. If I decide to reply Chekube's madness, it will be a disaster. And that I do not want. Let me allow him exhaust his youthful exuberance. So, what do we do now? We sit, we fold our arms, and we watch. My queen, the king's quietness is bothering me as well. I have talked to him, yet he remains silent. Talk to him some more. No, you need to talk to him again and again and again. Talk to him, no. Make him see reasons why he should take action as a king. That is if only he will listen to me. Because he does not listen to anyone. Mm. 
What if you take action on your own? I mean, with the elders, you can stop Chekube from this madness. <laughs> By when? <laughs> 